Hey guys, Arl Sands 1997 here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install plugins for your Minecraft bucket server. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is go to www.bucket.org. Link in the description. This is the same website where you download your craft bucket client from. Then you're going to want to go to the last option where it says get plugins. You can click on get plugins. And you can search for any type of um, pl plugin you want by category and uh, find whatever suits your needs or if you know the one in particular you can search it right here so just for example's sake I'm gonna be downloading essentials which is a very good basic tool set that kinda of starts you off on your server so we're just gonna go ahead and click essentials core download let's bring it to the download page and we get a zip file now if you guys follow my last tutorial we get a bucket folder we can open up the bucket folder and you can see we have a bunch of different folders inside the folder we created. So now I can open up the essentials folder, the zip file, and you see these jar files. What you're going to want to do is go to plugins, and there's nothing in here. Now you're going to want to just drag these jar files right in here. And this is the same for any type of plugin you use. All you want to do is drag the jar file in and you are all set. Now you just need to run the server. There you go. And you can follow along with the console. You'll see um, that it's adding some new things this time. You can see a lot more writing and it says done. You can just stop that. And now this time if you check back in your plugins you can see now you have folders. This means that the uh, jar files have been loaded. So now you don't have to shut down your server if you want to add a, a plugin. So for example, let's also add a world edit. Say you're hosting a 24-7 server and you don't want to shut it down. What you can do is download uh, a different plugin. Let's run the server. Run. And it's running. Now what you can see we can do is we can find the world edit download. And we'll just click download and download again. So now we can download world edit. Once it's done, you can see again we have our .jar. And in this case, all we need to do is drag in the world edit .jar and the craft scripts. So we'll drag it in. If there's ever a folder, you guys need to drag in the folder. But if it's any text, you do not need to drag those in at all. So now our server is running. Okay. And here I'll show you. I'll run it just so you guys can see what's going on. If I hit login, we can log in to our server. And I will connect using um, direct connect localhost. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Localhost. Let's just join the server, and you can see it, I am in the server. Now, again, like I said, say you're running a 24 7 server and you don't want to shut it down, but just add these plugins in. If I do slash plugins, you can see essentials, but you can't not see the ones we just added to world edit. So if you go to your console, you can type in reload, R E L O A D, hit enter, and you can see that updates, you'll see reload complete, and there you go. Now you get other folders. If I do slash plugins, you can see world edit. So hopefully this guy helped you out, guys. Um, just kind of a basic tutorial, but I know a lot of people have been having questions on how to add the plugins. And again, if you want to add any plugin, you can just go to the bucket.org and then click on pl get plugins on the right side, right over here. So hopefully this helped you out. And if it did, please give this a like rating, maybe a comment below. If you guys have questions, feel free to leave a comment below asking what you need help with, and I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, so thanks guys for watching, and this has been RLSand1997.